I feel like this is one of those movies that everyone loves, so if I start talking crap about it, I'm gonna get hate from everyone on the internet. So, here we go. <laughs> Ender's Game. So, I don't really know the cast of Ender's Game that well. I know it starts Ben Kingsley, but for the short period he's in it, he's he's in the movie, and he's the best part of the movie, well, one of the best parts of the movie, for sure. I know it stars Harrison Ford, and it stars a few other people. It certainly stars the girl that was in The Last Airbender. Her acting is just as good as it was in The Last Airbender. But that's besides the point. How is Ender's Game? Now, I was really looking forward to this movie. I mean, I read the book, and I love the book, and I just, I thought they could really adapt it to make it cool. And for the most part, this movie is cool. Now, is the movie great? No. Is the movie good? Yeah, it's fun. But the main thing that is just really great about the movie is the acting. The acting is so good in this movie. Everyone plays their role so well, especially Ender. He is a badass in this movie. He's so good. And... The guy who plays them, I've never seen him in anything before, and he really should be in more crap because he's really, really good. It was really cool seeing all these kids, like, training and getting really cool, and especially Ender, like, he, he has, he's, like, really, really smart, but it shows how he got, like, his physical sense, like, how he can, like, take a guy down from his brother, who used to fight him all the time. So, yeah, guys, whoever, like, hates their siblings, those things come in real-life situations. This definitely shows us that. The CGI was breathtaking in this movie, too. Like, honestly, this is some of the best CGI I've ever seen. I saw some behind-the-scenes footage. I can't even imagine how long this movie must have taken to edit. Just, I, they, they basically generate on the computer, like, half of this entire movie. It's crazy to me. Before I get to my problems with the movie, I'm going to address everything that I really liked about the movie. Some of the fights at the end are some of the coolest fights I think I've seen all year. Like, this is honestly, this compares with, like, Star Trek Into Darkness and, like, Pacific Rim and stuff like that. Like, this is seriously awesome. And the flying, like, how they're, like, flying in gravity, you really feel like these guys are in space. Like, it's cool. It's really, you feel like it's zero gravity. And it's just, it's so well done in that sense. So the acting is great. The battle sequences are awesome. Ender is a badass. The acting is really good for, for the most part. Ben Kingsling is awesome in it. The only person that I really have a problem with, with his acting, and I don't really have a complete problem with it, it's just Harrison Ford wasn't as great as he could have been. But I don't think that's on him. I think the writing could have been a little bit better on his part. I mean... I feel like anyone could have played him, and really, it just, they, I guess they just got Harrison Ford, they're like, okay, Harrison, come here, we're, we're gonna need you here, and you can just act tough, and stuff like that, I feel like anyone could have played him, actually, you know who would make a really good, whatever his name played, Benedict Cumberbatch would be an awesome, his role, I, for, I forgot, forgot what the character's name was, but yeah, I think he would totally fit the role, Anyway, my gripes with the movie. Well, first of all, a lot of scenes were really, really rushed. Like, really rushed. Like, they could have spent so much more time to develop these characters, and they really don't. The beginning is just done so fast, and I remember reading the... I don't... I'm not going to compare this to the book at all, because, I mean, there's no way this is going to be as good as the book, and I want to judge it as a movie, but just a couple scenes, especially in the beginning, are so just... It, it goes by like that, and like you don't really develop these characters. There's a brother and a sister in the movie. You don't care about them at all, and you're supposed to. There's a lot of scenes where you're really supposed to care about these characters, and you just, you don't. Also, there's a lot of lack of character development, like so much. Like, you really don't really care about any of the characters. I guess Ender kind of, but no one else you really care about. And then there's so many cliches in this movie. There's the tough guy that Ender wants to outsmart. And I like this about the character Ender because he can just outsmart anyone and he's like really tough and he's a kid and he becomes a commander. That's awesome. I found the dialogue to be really cliche in this movie too. I mean, I don't really need amazing dialogue in my movies, but I just at least need it to be non as cliche as this, and this this movie was pretty cliche, but there's so much eye candy going on that it's really, really hard. If you're not a critic, you will just, you will be engrossed into this movie, and so was I. I thought this movie was awesome. I thought the acting was great. I love the character of Ender. I thought that the special effects were just breathtaking. I thought that the battle sequences were awesome. There's a lot of scenes that were really, really, really rushed. 
Um, there's a love interest that is just awful in the movie. Ben Kingsley does an awesome performance. Harrison Ford could have been played by anybody. In the end, I will give Ender's Game an 8.5 out of 10. I think it's I think it's a great movie. It was really well done. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is Piglorn, signing off.